We're here, it's uh, I think the 6th of May today. Yeah. Uh, there's a group of us from the Superior Kayak and Canoe Club, uh, and of course, Team Fat Paddler, uh, getting together to uh, clean up one of our local waterways. So basically, we have uh, several vehicles of people right now. We've got, uh, looks like uh, 10, 10 canoes, six kayaks, because there's two more kayaks coming up the road right there, and we've got a motorboat. And there's probably gonna be about uh, 11, 12, uh, maybe up to 14 of us out here today um, doing this. All right, so here we are driving to uh, the site. We're going to uh, head a couple of kilometers upstream, or downstream, I should say. Uh, there's going to be two or three canoes on the water down there. Um, I've got a set of garbage bags and gloves and stuff with me, and uh, John up ahead has got some canoes, and we're just driving to the site. So we just pulled our canoe over to the opposite side of the river, and uh, I don't know if you can see Chris behind me there. That's how far we walked from the canoe. We've got two industrial sized garbage bags packed full of garbage. And we didn't even get it all. This is absolutely disgusting. Thunder Bay, I want you to wake up and take a look around. These are our waterways. These are our rivers that we're polluting nonstop. I found garbage from businesses that are miles away, businesses that are out of town. I found household garbage, like people's Hot Wheels cars. I'm pretty sure no small child came down here to this river to open up 17 packages of Hot Wheels cars. I'm pretty sure that came from your backyard garbage. There are houses that line this river and you guys need to be way more responsible about what happens with your garbage. As you can see, this is where we weren't and this is where we were. Look at the difference. Wake up, Thunder. So, this is where we pulled the canoe up right about here. As you can see, it gets worse and worse and worse and we're getting into massive chunks of plastic, plastic bags. Sorry about the plane flying overhead. I mean look at this. Panning back across now. There's where we put the canoe. Clean, 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 clean. And we're gonna see a pipe coming into the frame. There's the pipe. Oh and look at all the garbage again. Wow gee I wonder where all that came from big hunks of plastic sheeting, there's wraps from pallets from Home Depot there in the background. But this is ridiculous. Look at all this garbage. So this is what it amounts to. Uh, so much crap in the river we've had to uh, elicit the use of a half done truck there. So they're just hooking up chains into the shopping carts in the, raw, in the water, and then they're going to use that four-wheel drive. Four drive truck, even. <laughs> what year? <laughs> nice. There we go. Here we go, Thunder Bay. Doesn't this make you proud? Fire in the hole. <laughs> there, she goes. there it is. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So I think they said they got nine shopping carts uh, in this pile here. Nine shopping carts, a bicycle, and they're actually working on uh, a couple more over there back where the truck is. So things are getting done on the Niebing River today. Bananas, not so we got everything from bottles of old English to vinyl siding to a floor fan. Got a beach chair. This is just absolutely filthy. But it's a little bit cleaner now that we've been here, so you're welcome, Thunder Bay. And that's what we ended up with.
so we spent about three hours cleaning the river. Um, we had to leave all those shopping carts and stuff behind because I just didn't have room for them. And we were only one group. The other group went uh, up the other way, up by the other side of the river. And I think they had uh, six or eight of them as well. And they just clean, 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 clean. And uh, Thunder Bay, I just want you to think about when you toss that little thing out your window and you throw that piece of garbage out or you let that newspaper blow away, it does end up somewhere and someone's got to clean it up. Mother Nature can't do it anymore, so it's time to wake up.